Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. Individual fault is a petty thing when weighed against the good of nations. So, last time, I upgraded my shield. I'm not sure what the upgrade, whoops, does. A large shield. Neat. Let's see, I have at least one uh, ring to check out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. One, one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, I already did the magnet thing there. I didn't mark it off my list there. So I guess this time what I'm going to do is head off to a dungeon of some kind. Yeah. I like how you can do dungeons 4 and 5 in any order. Hey, if you want something, we can trade. Yeah. Well, you don't have anything that I want. Oh, hey. I don't know why I enjoy this so much, but I enjoy it, like, so much. Alright, so then. Okay, so... Nice. Alright, so then. Cash. I think I've kind of run out of things to buy though. I need to stop... Well, I don't need to. But I would like to stop by Vasu and exchange the... Uh, what is it? Luck ring? Joy ring? That reminds me. I need to, uh, three, three, two, one, one, four, four, four. Three, three, two, one, one, four, four, four. Okay. I think that might be important for later on. Specifically, that skeleton who isn't allowed to move without a bell. Alright. So, off I will go to... Uh... Huh, it's autumn here. Oh, hey, you know who I haven't visited in a while? Hello. My boy is well, so I can rest. Today I have more to teach. Find spots to plant gosh seeds is hard. Dig holes, move rocks. Okay. So that still hasn't progressed any. Let's see here. Level 4, Dancing Dragon Dungeon. Interesting. I want to check and see if the basement of this shop has... Oh, hey! Look at that! Now that I've got my shield upgraded, everyone has upgraded their shield with those masters. Oh, wow! There is a Gasha Seed for 500 monies in there. Delightful. Anyway... I guess this is as close as I can warp to the Dancing Dragon. And thank goodness I needed more of those. Alright. So, there's two ways to the place that I'm going. Alright, so... There's some kind of jewel 
on the same tile as the Dancing Dragon dungeon is. Which is interesting. So, where's the Dancing Dragon from here? Straight up. Huh. How do I ascend to the Dancing Dragon? Do I need a chicken? To make my ascent? Hop. I mean, there's where the Dancing Dragon belongs. I should have paid attention to... Now I need to circle around again in order to see what it is I need to see. Okay. Wait, that doesn't tell me anything. I need to get left from here. So... I need to somehow get up and go right. After, okay, I need to make it spring in order to access the Dancing Dragon. Goodness, I thought that thing had landed on my head and latched on. Like likes. I forgot to stop by Vasu. shows up on my treasure map. A pyramid jewel. I'm sorry, did you say force gem? I need 1,999 more of them to power up my sword. You know, I really loved that game. Okay, I guess I need to be somewhere to actually enter the dancing dragon. Which is why there's a stump directly here. Which I feel is kind of a weird thing. Oh yes, you need to change the season to enter the dungeon. But, we have included just for you, directly outside the dungeon, the stump you need. Alright, and so, this is the swim check to make sure you can swim it before you enter the dungeon. Except you had to swim to get to the dungeon. I suppose... Yeah, like, you can't even enter the dungeon without swimming. Alright, so... Excellent. Explosives! I think that means something. Yeah, I'm just gonna hop in this and... Right... Wait, okay, sure. I accept this result. Oh, that's much nicer than uh, Mystery of Solaris is about the secret walls. Where it's not until the final dungeon that you get an item that lets you detect bombable walls when the bombable walls aren't immediately obvious. Okay, so... Hmm. One, two, three... Four, five, six, three, six, seven, eight. This is one of those places that tests. Do you remember that you can push these? I'm pretty sure the item that generates the block, the Cana Somaria, I think, 
doesn't exist in Seasons. So, I'm hoping that I can just have Link stand on the final one. Alright, shove, 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 push, shove, 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 push. Oh, thank goodness. I can take this key back to the entrance. I can. But I don't want to just yet. I want to explore this. Okay, so... Let's shove things into the water. So, the fact that this thing responds to being hit with the sword tells me that I can move it. There are plenty of things that don't respond to being hit by a sword that you can move, but those statues play by special rules. Alright, let's head in here. Oh, I was hoping for... Oh, hey, look at that! Some kind of whiz robe. Is that the name, or am I thinking of the name for a different Zelda game? Alright, this is the more difficult to reach path, so clearly it's the correct one. Huh, that one didn't produce a fairy. They only produced fairies in that one dungeon, or was that a different enemy that has to be destroyed by the boomerang that did that? Or they only produce fairies when you're below a certain amount of health? Okay, so the, uh, as far as getting places, which one of those doors you take doesn't matter. Now, I'm gonna save. Because bringing up the map and then scrolling up or down can sometimes glitch the game. Oh sweet, speaking of maps, I'm gonna save that I got that. Alright, so... Hop, 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 hop. Good job, me. Oh, hey. Ow! That was cruel. Well, I'm glad that doesn't result in instant death. Why am I playing Mega Man? Whoops. Okay. So then. Whoops. Okay, so hop over here. Hop up here. Hop up here. Hop over here. Hop over here, and then I'm free. Okay. I don't know if it's just the settings on my computer, but I am able to see here in the dark. I was just hoping, ah! That turning out ate my jump input. Heck, I was able to see this on my Game Boy when I played it back in the day. Yay, a second small key! I was just hoping that lighting that up would, you know, do something else, like, I don't know, cause something that was actually invisible to show up and be useful. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, made it through. And, ah, no! No, why? That is why I don't... don't. That is why I disagree with the uh, spikes on the floor idea there, because you take so much damage so fast. With the uh, hole in the ground, whoops, you at least uh, take damage only once, even if you have to start over. 
And I'm sure the spikes in the ground will forces you into a certain direction, and that's almost always, you know, the starting direction. But... Does this block do anything? It is suspicious. Wait, I should check and see if there's a treasure in this room. All the summer rooms that aren't marked as having treasure do in fact have. Okay, so... Huh, how do I get out of here? Do I have to kill all these things? Yeah, I have to kill all those things to get out of here. Shove these into the watery abyss. No treasure or anything. Oops. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna keep playing for a bit. At least until I uh, see a mid-boss, I suppose. Good job, me. I was gonna try and strike that out of the air, but then I wasn't paying attention to my surroundings. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and save them. Alright. Those eyes that stare at me disturb me. Okay, so what's going on here? Great jumping. Was it really a different enemy that was giving me bombs, or not bombs, fairies every time I hit it? Oh hey, speaking of bombs. I like you have I like how you have so much freedom to arrange your inventory in this game, but for me that just means it's really disorganized. You know what? I'm gonna try pushing this block. Okay, I suspect this block can't actually push until all the enemies are dead. So it's just killing all the enemies with an extra step, I suppose. Right, right, I can swim, I don't need to uh, hop over that. Alright, so here we are. I got the compass. Alright, no more treasures on this floor. That makes me sad. Okay. Uh, with the success I've had with these ones having items, I'm going to ignore those ones. Yay. Oh. An arrangement like this surely has... Yes. Health. Alright. Oh, hey! In use for the shield, but what I'm doing here could be done with any shield, not just the uh, upgraded shield. Hmm, interesting. Oh, the quicksand ring isn't going to help here. For some reason, I think it. I was thinking it would behave like an item from Mega Man Zero and Mega Man Z. Good job! And Mega Man ZX, where it makes you uh, not cause things to crumble. I think that's a different ring. Like, I think there is a ring for that, and I just don't have it yet. Or if I do, I haven't thought about it in a while. Whee. I use the shield so rarely because, uh... Like, jumping is just so much more useful. Huh, interesting. I didn't expect an entire stairway to show up. Okay, so... Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to need to use seeds to run and jump over holes there. Yeah, two spaces wide. And I think this owl's hint will be something to that effect. Here, I'll taste mystery. Greater speed gives greater distance. 
Yes. So. We Great jumping there, me. There we go. I like how they have outs for you in case you happen to run out of seeds or something. Okay. Ow. I should have swung my sword. Okay, this clearly requires the dungeon treasure. Hey, you. Greetings, here's the deal. Ten Ember Seeds for twenty rupees. You already have it. I do. Hey, you. You are a key. Alright, so... Oh, no. Okay. Okay, there we go. Can you see through my power? Is this an Aghanim rehash? Good job, me. Right, 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 the real one is the one that casts a shadow. Really? Nothing? Hmm, really? Really? What am I meant to do? Oh, I attack you directly. way it was set up with that orb, I thought it was a, a thing where I, you know, trade orbs. And now to change my ring. Also, save. Alright, so, off I go. Hello, you. Why is it worth coming to here? What you seek is in the eye. Okay, good to know. Yeah. What I seek is in the eye. And I need to kill the boss to get that information rather than being able to intuit it. Would it be possible to... Interesting. Okay. I see what I did wrong. I assume that that was the only exit from that room. When really, there's also this exit, and I would have been bad. Okay, so. Hmm, interesting. So I can't change the direction this goes from this room. Or maybe I can, but not with my current tool set. Ow. Okay, I don't think I need to actually kill this. Hmm. Move. Yeah! I got the slingshot! Choose your seeds and take aim. Well, since scent seeds don't seem to do much else, I think those will be my default seeds. Well, I only have 20 of them. 
I must have spent some on some kind of weird uh, sub erosion thing. Alright, so yes. Okay, so bats. I had another place where I need to do that trick where I uh, use seeds to make myself jump farther. But why, Dungeon? You, you've already demonstrated your point with that. Okay, I need more uh, key to do this. Yeah, so I'll just grab my sword then. And there are still at least two paths I can check out. I can go left here, or I can return to where I was some time ago, and, uh... Really, it has to be on screen to, uh, count. Well, that's kind of annoying. Since these are so useless, they don't even give me that many trees for them. Like, I'm staring at the recording screen rather than the uh, actual game screen because the recording screen is bigger and sometimes it doesn't capture the flashing of things, which is actually quite fascinating. Alright, so. Oh, man. That was a silly trip. Okay. So. I guess I'll have to return to, uh, another path. So, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I think I can get a treasure chest now, too. I think that treasure chest requires fire. Okay, yes. Okay, so first thing first, I'll go get that treasure chest. And then I shall go return to that other path. I usually prefer to fight the final boss on seasons rather than ages because of the level. Yeah, it doesn't even tell you that there's a level 1 and level 2 of the slingshot. So, spoilers, there's a level 2 slingshot. It is my preferred weapon for battling the second to last boss, especially in comparison with what with the puzzle solving tools you have for uh, ages. So I'm playing this version first to get the red ring, but in doing so, I'm actually making the final boss harder for me. Uh, it's not a huge difference. Okay, so I think it's this one? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, is this the eye? Oh, hey, look at that. I found a small key. I now have the two small keys I need to be able to move on. And the question is, you know, I'm going to save again in case I bring up the map and try to scroll up or down and it freezes. Alright, so... 
cow. All right. Hop. 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 All right. So there are two paths I can take. The one on the right goes to a room I haven't been to before. The one on the left goes to a room I hypothetically have been to before. So, of course I'll go for the left path first. I'm so glad of this game understands the need for, like, stuff to battle bosses with, and just has those unlimited regrowing things that drop the, uh... Come on, brain. The seeds you need to fight that boss. On the other hand, there was an earlier boss where it was refusing to give me the stuff I needed to battle it. Ugh. Haha. Take that. So, ow, what's over here? Oh, hey, I think it's another running chamber. Okay, so first off... Ow. You know what? I'm gonna click the boomerang to B. Oh, great standing position. Ugh, really? I did not learn my lesson the first time. Good job, me! Ugh. What is wrong with me? This is such a simple enemy. Okay, so I assume I'm going to need to burn things to get across. Hey you, tell me things. A guarded body watches with unguarded eyes. Okay, so I think that's telling you the boss of this dungeon is, uh... Goma? Yes. Probably Goma. Ah! I'm glad that I somehow did a quarter heart damage instead of a half heart. Yep. Take that. Okay, so I need to go back to that other path to get the boss key, I assume. Okay, so nope. Okay. Okay, so... I'll just hop in this. Oh, thank goodness, help. Okay. I did that one adequately well. Okay, this path is still unlocked for me just the way I wanted it. dimensions I am bad at dealing with bats. Okay, so that bat is 
Wait, no, it is not out of reach. Okay, so. Oh, hey, look, eyes. Oh, hey, look at that. Those eyes, good job, me, weren't suspicious in the least. I definitely need, you know what? No, I'm giving it to them. That's a good hint to have. I mean, I act like I'm acting like it was totally obvious there was something up with the eyes, but like, had I gone there, there without a, ow, uh, is that out of boomerang range? Does or does the boomerang not work on that? Mm. Anyway, had I gone there without knowing that I needed to look in quote unquote the eye for something, I may well have had no clue what I was doing. Good job, me. Okay, so... Yeah, take that. Right, that's why I was killing them all. It wasn't for kicks. It was because it was mandatory. Really? Only one unit of health from that? Okay, so... I think there's more health in... Are the contents of these semi-random? Wait, what am I doing? Don't pick fights you don't need to pick. If it becomes convenient to kill things, sure, do it, but otherwise... Like, don't be sticking around just to kill things you don't need to kill. That's a good way to take damage you don't need to take. Okay, so... Interesting. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm gonna grab the shield for the first time in a while, actually. No. Huh. And that's just how you do it. I keep thinking that the shield locks me in place. So I need to wait for, until it's about to strike before I can hit it. Okay. Like, I don't know why I keep thinking the shield blocks my facing. Because I'm used to holding the sword button and the sword locks your facing. I need to change my bullet type. Nope. Is there a... Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. It does a random bullet. And only one bullet type actually damages it. No, let me go! How much damage did that do? This is gonna take longer than it needs to because of the random seeds. Wait, the fire ones actually do hurt it? Heck yeah, I'm going fire. I know the fire ones didn't hurt it, but I guess I just shot it the wrong time. Shield's actually pretty nice. I got a heart container. 
<clears throat> I'd forgotten how nice the shield is. Alright, save and continue. And what's today's essence? I got the soothing rain, an essence of nature. Bathed in drops of soothing rain, shoots grow into saplings. Yes, mighty tree. I too grow mighty under the soothing rain. I just dreamt of Link looking through ruins. Perhaps one of the essences is hidden some hole. Oh, before I save and exit, there is something I wish to do. Okay, so first off. Not today, Mabel. Maple. Let's see, you. I wish to know about this ring. Red luck ring, half damage from spike floors. Yes, I wish to exchange this for a red luck ring. <coughs> Oof. My orange luck ring turned into a red luck ring. But it has changed such that it has always been the case. Anyway, after you get a couple of essences, this thing shows up. And look, she's not useful right now, but in a crossover game, she's extremely useful. That is the Oracle of Secrets. But yeah, look at this. As you collect more essences, the tree grows and gets all kinds of useful stuff, like, I forget, well, I never knew how many essences I need to make it to the top of the tree, but yeah, yeah I'll go say hi to the oracle. Welcome, Link. I am Feror, Oracle of Secrets. This is the Hall of Secrets, where your secrets take form. At times and places, you will hear powerful secrets. At those times, come see me. I can give shape and form to your secrets. She'll be more useful in a crossover game, where I take secrets from here and bring them there. So, join me next time, when I explore with the slingshot, and then I guess go check out some ruins. I will see you then.